Hey, Cog 45 here. Look what I have. <laughs> Is this a rig or what? You have seen this a few times, but not in this configuration. I have uh, dressed it up, the old 6.8 LWRC, with a prism scope since last you saw it. And look what it's wearing also, a Vanish 30 gold suppressor. So, pretty nice rig. You know, it's not quite as loud. I have a little bit better visibility on my targets. And it still fires the 6.8 SPC2. It's pretty nice uh, rig. I don't get it out often enough. And since I've uh, modif well, I've changed it or added things to it, I thought I would, uh, yeah, let you come out and enjoy it with me. You want to shoot it? Uh, I wish you could, but I'll have to shoot it for you. Let's shoot something. One, two. All right. 6.8. It's not a 5.56. There we go, a little high. Kapow, kapowie. Woo! <laughs> how about a, uh, whoa, how about the gong? Let's wake up. Yeah. How about a little cinder block over there on the barrel? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Work on that with the 6 8. Woo! Yeah, I just had a few rounds there. Uh, this is uh, maybe my prettiest AR type rifle, don't you think? Some of you might. That is a really a good looking rifle, if I do say so myself. And since I built it, created it, uh, you know, I can say that. No, LWRC did that. And uh, they've done a good job, I think, so far. It has worked very well. It looks really good. It's fun to shoot. Packs a little bit of a punch. It's, uh, it's interesting. Most, well, many of us have an AR. We fired ARs, 5.56, 223. Extremely common. The most popular you know, rifle in the country. Has been for a long time, right? So most of us are familiar with the 5.56 and the recoil impulse and how it shoots, everything. But this is not all that different. It's really not. Uh, speaking of the military, might be Fort Campbell coming through. They used to come through more often than they do lately. There'd be uh, two or three Chinooks, you know, coming over, and it was it was kind of cool. Cause I'm not all that far from uh, the base, uh, you know, up in you know, well Kentucky and the Tennessee line, Fort Campbell. But anyway, back to the subject at hand. Um, yeah, it, 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 you get a little more recoil impulse. Some of you have fired the 6.8. You know what I'm talking about. But it, it's not significant. Uh, you, but it does have more punch. It's, it's kind of neat having the same type rifle with just a little more punch. It's not a an AR-10. Yeah. I fired quite a few AR-10s, 308. And I'm not a huge fan of them, to tell you the truth. Uh, I'm just not. I'd rather have a, a different sort of 308 rifle, generally speaking. But this is very close to 5.56, five, five, uh, but nice. It's nice. So, let's fire it again. You want to get some more? And, all right, let's fire a little more. Okay. Again, you have to be have subsonic ammo to be truly suppressed, right? But uh, it is nice having a little less noise, and uh, I enjoy that. Okay. Let's shoot something. Well, I don't need to do that. This is Ambi, as you recall. I'll link to one of the first videos or two with it. You know, you got ambidextrous bolt releases and everything is Ambi. Safety, whole nine yards. It's pretty cool. Even the trigger. Boy, does it have a nice trigger, too. Let's smoke a little pot down there. Okay. Boy, that smoked it. I was, uh... Holding higher than I thought I yeah I needed to. At that close a range, you've got a little differential in the bore axis and everything. <laughs> that is fun. That is fun. Uh, 
Let's see, we got some AR-500 steel over there. Let's just go ahead and pop the buffalo. One, two. Did I hit it? Good then. I got two with one shot to make up for it. Uh, let's see, that other buffalo is AR-15, or, yeah. No, no, no. Uh, got AR-15s on my brain, sorry about that. AR-500. Yeah, I moved the sight just before the video. I put it back on here. I had it on a different firearm. I had it on here, had it sighted in, and then I moved it to the uh, m and FPC for a while, and I, which I hadn't planned to do. You know that story if you've been following. And so then I took it off a little bit ago, put it back on here, and I uh, thought I moved the sight correctly. I think I've got it shooting just a tad high. I don't know. I should have left it well enough alone. It's pretty nice. Oh, I love that sound. Yeah, boy. Sweet. Oh. <laughs> Thought I could hit the gong without even aiming. I bet I can hit this guy without aiming. <laughs> Yeah, boy. How about you, bowling pin? <laughs> Popped him over. Yep. Could tell I was empty. Oh, yeah. That is pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, uh, yeah. And uh, we got us a hot suppressor. Appreciate the help of uh, Alabama Holster as well. Uh, they make some really nice Kydex uh, concealment holsters. Wonderful holsters. They uh, pocket uh, inside the waistband, outside the waistband. I love the one I uh, use in my purse. It's it's one of my favorites. So they've got them for all purposes, I promise you, promise you. So thanks again to Alabama Holster. Uh, I don't know, I almost hate to fire this thing, it's so pretty. And if you notice, I haven't scratched it up yet. Knock on wood, you know, it's just like it came from the factory. Look at that. Maybe that's because I haven't been to war with it. You know, that's the advantage. Uh, people like myself have, you know, never having been to war, don't plan to go, you never know what might happen, right? But, uh, so I can, and I, I can take good care of my firearms, I should, I should take good care of them, uh, you know, not that I obsess over it, there, there is something interesting about, have you ever seen an M16, some of those old guns that were actually used in Vietnam and dragged around through the jungles and, or wherever in the desert? And wow, there's hardly any finish left on them, but you know, they just keep on cranking, keep on cranking. So, but you know, this one is mainly a range gun, so I'll take good care of it. And you know, I'm gonna do y'all a favor. I did that favor in Sunday video not long ago uh, as well. I, you know, you've heard my jokes about the twisted barrel so many times. I'm not gonna do that today to you. I'm not gonna bring out the dad jokes, I promise. The barrel is twisted on purpose. LWRC does it. I'm not going to make that old joke I always make. Don't you appreciate that? Anytime somebody who is, who is obsessed with dad jokes uh, gives you a break, you ought to be thankful, right? <laughs> so if you're new to the channel, you don't know what I'm talking about. That's all right. You shouldn't be new. Where were you? Where were you 16, 17 years ago? Why have you not seen every video we've done? Even if you are new, you should have seen all the videos by now. Well, she's getting warm. I'll say that. So, what else do you want me to shoot? I don't have a lot. Yeah, I got a couple targets. I haven't shot that thing yet, have I? Let's put one on it. Okay, Ambi. Ambi. For folks in Kentucky, that means ambidextrous. Hey, I wonder if I can squeeze them both at the same time to release the ball. <laughs> ambidextrous. Okay. Oh, I forgot to put a, cinder, a piece of a cinder block down there. Yeah, let's finish him off. Okay, <laughs> that's why I don't stand too close when I do that. What else over there needs to be hit that could withstand a modern round? Well, that that plate in the middle of the field. Yeah, I changed my mind. I decided to shoot that dirt clod first. Okay, 
Oh, a bowling pin. Look at that. Pops them around. Yeah, more so than a 5.56. Five, you notice that? Those swinging ones there. I'll hit them. Mm. Okay. Moves them a little more. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, let's hit the beer keg. Boom. This puts another hole in it, that's all. Got the barrel over there. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, I enjoy 6.8. Nice, nice uh, round. Although, I tell you, there, there are so many nice rounds chambered for these types of rifles these days. They're so popular. There's every kind of 6 millimeter, 6.5, 6.8, and you name it. And everybody has their favorite, right? And I, you never know which one is going to take off and be, oh, these, the, this is the round, you know. All ARs in the future will be chambered for this or whatever. We've gone through that with several, right? So just pick a round you like, you know. Uh, one of the reasons we do that is hopefully it will become popular. Uh, you know, say, for example, one of the six millimeter rounds uh, like, like this or something. Uh, so that it will be more plentiful. Uh, fair, well, if it ever be inexpensive, but available, uh, maybe in bulk, less money, you know, like the 5.56 five, uh, has been. Uh, but I don't know, so far that hasn't happened, has it, with any of these new rounds? They're, they tend to be more expensive, but, uh, but anyway, I like the 6.8, yeah. I don't care if other people don't like it. I don't care at all. I like it. I'm going to keep it, I think. So anyway, the old LWRC, uh, and specifically, this is the 6.8A5, 6.8 Spec 2, okay, SBC 2, uh, if you didn't know that. And uh, again, it's uh, got the twisted barrel, and uh, that makes it uh, shoot better, okay, having rifling on the outside of the barrel as well as on the inside. See, I couldn't resist, could I? The old dad jokes have to come out. And I, by the way, I have now the, uh, many of you already know this, this is my primary arms um, uh, prism scope. It's the only one I have. I just ordered that off Amazon. I wanted to try a prism scope, and I've had it on a couple of different things. Many of you have seen it already, and I kind of like it. I'm not sure about the reticle. It's got a weird kind of reticle, and uh, I'm going to get another one, I think, uh, that I can move around, so I'll take this one off, maybe. And I'm going to, I don't know. I might get a more traditional reticle if I can find one. It's more like a red dot without the half moon and stuff. It's okay, except John and I both kind of think it's got a like a half moon and it's got a dot. Uh, I would like it more if the half moon is so bright it in a way obscures the the red dot, you know. If it was just the opposite, and there's no setting that seems to do that, if I could turn down the half moon and turn up the red dot a little bit, I would, I would really, really like it. Uh, but it's okay, though. It's growing on me. It's growing on me. So anyway, Banish 30. Got the suppressor on here and the prism scope, which doesn't mess with my eyes, even though here I am complaining about the specific reticle a little bit. But at least it doesn't, you know, do all the stuff that red dot does if you have astigmatism. You know, it's... It, what you see is, is there. You can draw a picture of it, whatever it's supposed to look like. When I look through there, that's what it looks like. Y'all were right. Y'all recommended those to me when I was complaining about uh, red dots uh, getting kind of weird and like jello or jelly, you know, on me. Uh, so I appreciate your help with that because that makes this a really nice rig. So I wanted to bring it out and show you, shoot a little bit, and, uh, you know, just enjoy the evening. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it too. Didn't pick up any ticks. Life is good. Oh, yeah, that's better. This is a great gun for defense. Oh, hey, didn't see you guys there. Uh, while I've got you here, I want to remind you of our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. Talon Grips makes uh, grips, can you believe it, uh, for all different types of firearms. You can get rough texture or more of a rubberized texture. Uh, it just sticks right on there. You know, really affordable, really cool option to in improve the grip for your handguns. Um, or, or rifles. Uh, so please check them out at talongungrips.com. You'll be glad you did. And also Ballastol. Uh, Dad has been using Ballastol for many years. It's a cleaner and a lubricant and it's non-toxic. 
Uh, it works really great, and we're happy to have them on board since it's been a part of our shooting endeavor for a very long time. So go to ballastall.com, talongungrips.com, and also while you're out there, I'm juggling all these things here. Also, uh, while you're on the internet, please do check out our other social media like Hickok45 on Facebook. There's also Hickok45 on Twitter, the real Hickok45 on Instagram. There's a John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram where I do some things. There's Hickok45.com. Uh, you can find us also on GunStreamer. So check out all that stuff and then watch more videos.